Good morning. It's Monday. And before the children get here, I wanted to share with you how you and your child um, throughout the course of the year are going to access the Super Kids Online Fund app so that you may um, help them with some of the assignments that we are going to have throughout the course of the year. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is to go ahead and um, log on to All Souls Catholic School. And once you're here, and this board has been very temperamental this morning, you're going to go ahead and click on Current Families and Online Resources. And once you are on the online resources page, you want to scroll down till you come to the Super Kids Online Fun icon. And you want to click on that. And you want to give it a minute to warm up. And you're going, you or your child, and, and in all reality, the more we do this, the children should take ownership of it. You're going to click to play. Give it a minute. Super Kids Online Fun. And you're going to type be asked your pin to log in. To type in a pin. And the pin is very simple because, again, the children should be taking ownership of this. Okay, so you're going to touch this and you're going to type in the pin, which is simply one, two, three, four, five, six. Very easy for the children to remember and enter. Pick your class. Then the children will be asked to pick their class. So you want to pick Mrs. Marie. Pick your name. And they will be asked to pick their name. Pick your password. As well as their password. Okay. Then a screen like this will come up with three icons at the bottom. You want to have your child click on read. Read. In the Super Kids program, the children read from three different um, genres. We have leveled books, we have our hardcover reader, and we have our super duper magazines. Right? If I ask your child on the homework sheet to read a leveled book, you're going to have them click on the books icon and then whatever the title of the um, leveled book is should appear on the screen and they will just click on it and read um, that particular book. If they're asked to read a super duper magazine, then they would click on the magazines icon. And again, the super duper magazines um, will appear here and they will click on the magazine that's assigned and they will read it. If we are reading a story from the reading book, then your child would click on reader. Readers. Okay. And right now we're only reading from one book. That's the book that you've seen come home. And you can click on that. All right. And then they are going to look for the um, book, the, the story that we're reading from the book. And um, they are going to go ahead and turn till they get to it. So we'll use this one as an example. Now, there are some children who will be able to read the text absolutely on their own. So you don't even have to go to this website if the book has come home. There are other children who are going to need a little bit of support. You're going to know this when they bring the text home. If you find that they are struggling to read the text. And the story usually is read three times at home um, for extra practice and support. If you're finding that your child is struggling with it, my suggestion would be the first evening that it is assigned to um, allow your child to listen and follow along with the story as the narrator reads. And the way you get the narrator to read is to press the green button. The flat cat. The and fast as you can see, cat is set. The words are Hot highlighted as the narrator set. reads. And it the helps fast the children cat become is not off. only familiar with the vocabulary, but also with the correct fluency rate 
as well as recognizing when there's a period we stop, when there's an exclamation point, it changes the way that, that the um, text is read a little bit as well. And so if you are one of the parents of the children that is struggling a little bit to read the material, then my suggestion would be the first evening that it's assigned to allow the children to read the material this way. The second evening that it's assigned, again, come back here and allow the narrator to read, but have your child read along with the narrator. And then the third evening that it's assigned, hopefully your child will be able to read it without any support from the narrator at all. They will be able to read it on their own. If not, then go back to not the narrator reading totally on their own, but the children reading along with the narrator. Only you are going to know which way is best for your child. And then the goal is by the end of the year that the children are not going to need that first step, that they only might need the second and the third step. And there are some children in the class who don't need either of these steps but it's here for you as a support if in fact your child does need that support. And the same can be done with the leveled books as well as the Super Duper Magazine, which many of the children to begin with when we're reading the Super Duper Magazine may need that support because it is informational text. And at this time of the year, informational text is a little bit trickier for the children to read because the vocabulary is a little bit higher than um, the regular readers or the leveled books. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to answer your questions. Have a great day.